Hello, my name is Moises Trejo, and I'm going to take you on a tour of Goshen Intermediate School. As you enter the school through the front doors, you are going to turn to the left and you're going to have the main office area on the left. On the right hand side, you're going to have the gymnasium. Continuing down this long hallway, there are going to be two entrances to the left that lead to the academic wings, one on the right that leads to the music wing, and at the very end of the hallway, you're going to find the cafeteria. As you walk into the front office, you're going to find a desk area here on the left that will have an office staff member. And on the right, you'll find another desk area with a couple more office staff members here to assist parents and students and visitors. Um, if you continue walking to the front office area, there'll be a small office area here, a workspace for the front office staff. Here we're going to have the bookkeeper's office that will have a sliding glass door to assist parents and students um, as they come into the building wanting to speak with our bookkeeper. You walk into the administrative area of the office and there's going to be a large conference room to the right. In the administrative hallway, you're also going to find a student resource officer office. You are going to find the principal's office as well. And you are going to find the assistant principal's office right next door. Also included in the main office area, we will have an office that our school psychologist will occupy. If you walk a little further down the hallway there, you're going to find a workroom space for our teachers to utilize along with the teacher mailboxes. Down the hall from the teacher mailboxes, you'll find a student services desk area. There'll be an office staff member here to assist students uh, on a daily basis as the needs arise. And just right next door will be the entrance to the nurse's office. In the gym, you can see they already have the basketball goals set up. There is going to be a large curtain that we can drop that will divide the gym in half. And that way we can have two separate gym classes running at the same time if we need to. This is going to be the band room. As you can see, all of the lockers line the perimeter of the band room. We've got small lockers for the smaller instruments. We've got larger lockers for the larger instruments. This is going to be a fantastic space to use. We are in the cafeteria for Goshen Intermediate School. This is going to be a very large space. As you can see, there's some great windows in this space to allow for a lot of cool daylight. The serving lines will be in this area over here. There will be four serving lines so that we can get the students in with their lunches and to their seats as quickly as possible. When you exit the cafeteria, you can go to your left to go back towards the front of the building. You can go to your right to go to the back of the building. In either direction, you'll be able to exit the building. Just outside the cafeteria, there's a hallway that leads to the academic wings. On the right-hand side, you have the art rooms. On the left-hand side, you have rooms that are accessible for our staff. If you come into this room here, we have one of our art rooms. As you can see, it's really big and there's lots of light for students to be able to work. If you follow me right through this pass through, we have an identical art room. So these are our fifth and sixth grade art room spaces. There is a door at the back of each room that will allow for students to go outside and work if they need to. Right across from the art rooms is going to be the staff dining area. In here, We'll have some tables and chairs set up for the staff to use during their lunch time. There's some cabinet space, counter space, there will be a sink, some other items the staff can use for lunches. Um, there will also be a couple of restrooms in here for the staff to use as needed. This area right here is going to be our tech help desk area. Students and staff members can bring their devices here to get their technology devices worked on. If they're having any problems or issues, they can help troubleshoot. This space is located right next to our media center. Inside of our shared learning space, we have this dedicated area carved out from makerspace. In this makerspace area, teachers will be able to bring in small groups of students to do a little bit of work, use some of the equipment that's in here, use some of the items that are used for makerspace to work on labs and projects, and uh, just have a good time growing a little bit in the world of STEM. Once you get to the end of the hall that has the art rooms, you get to a point where you can go to the academic wings. If you go to the right, you can get to one academic wing. The floor plans have a very similar layout for classrooms. There's an upstairs and there's a downstairs. And if you go to the left, you go into another academic wing that is very similar to that. This is the entrance to the LGI, which stands for Large Group Instruction. It's located between the two academic wings. We'll be able to use this to bring students down in smaller numbers instead of doing a large assembly in another space. 
In the LGI, we will have a set of bleachers on that wall that we can pull out. We can have them all set up and we can accommodate up to 500 individuals on those bleachers for any kind of meeting or guest speaker or special event we may have. We can also push them back and have space to set up some chairs and set up some tables so that we can have school level meetings or district level meetings. This large space right here is a space that we call the shared science lab space. Teachers will be able to bring their students into the space to work on the labs and the projects that they have. This is what our typical classroom is going to look like. So you can see we've got a couple large windows in every room. We've got some built-ins right underneath that. If you can see on the wall, there are spaces uh, designated for large monitors for teachers to be able to project from their devices to those monitors, along with some whiteboard space that they will have on top of that monitor. We also have a uh, wall over here that will have some cabinets and storage area for the teachers and students to utilize along with a sink in every classroom. We have an elevator at Goshen Intermediate School that is accessible for anyone who might need its services. As you come out of the hallway that contains the art rooms, you can access this elevator from either one academic wing or the other academic wing, but it's located in between both wings. So this is a quick visual of the staircase as it leads down from one academic area to the main floor. And if you look across the hall, you can see the other academic area that students could go into. Welcome to our Life Skills Classroom. This Life Skills Classroom will be dedicated to our program. As you can see, we have a lot of great space here and we've got a lot of great windows. In this area over here, we have a sensory room that our teachers will be able to work with our students. And if you want to follow me to the back of the room over here, we actually have an exterior door. Now, this exterior door right here is going to allow us to receive students who are in our life skills program. It leads to the back of the school where buses drop off and pick up. And so we'll be able to receive them more easily with that door access. If we come to the other side of the room over here, we're going to find a space that's going to help our students work on laundry and personal hygiene skills while they're in our life skills program. Inside of this room as well, there's also another space that will have a restroom and a shower facility that will help our teachers work with students as well. Okay, you're going to have to do a little visualization here. That little step right there is going to house some lockers. There's going to be a top locker and a bottom locker and our students will be assigned a locker so they can put some of their belongings in there like a jacket or a backpack. 